You may have already seen my two-minute case note on the Mariva case, which established Mariva injunctions, which are orders allowing the court to freeze particular assets in order to prevent a litigant from disposing of those assets or removing them from Australia in order to defeat the judgment if they lose the case. A Mariva injunction is draconian in nature because it stops a party from dealing with their own property, and there's not yet a court finding against them. As a result, the courts have been fairly conservative in terms of when and how Mariva injunctions can be granted. In particular, Mariva injunctions are merely intended to freeze in place assets which might otherwise be dissipated. They are not intended to hold those assets as a security for the potential judgment. Second, the only assets that should be frozen are the assets which are at risk of being dissipated. The Mariva power does not justify a court simply requiring a party to pay into court a security against the judgment being sought. In this case, the parties were engaged in a trade practices dispute, and the federal court had ordered the defendant to pay a sum of $3 million in cash into the court to be held as a security. The High Court found that this went much too far. Justice Dean said, When an order for the preservation of assets goes beyond simply restraining the defendant from disposing of specific assets until after judgment, it must be framed so as to come within the limits set by the purpose which it can properly be intended to serve. That purpose is not to create security for the plaintiff or to require a defendant to provide security as a condition of being allowed to defend the action against him. It's a subtle distinction, but there is a difference between an order forbidding someone from dissipating an asset and an order requiring that person to put up the asset as security for a judgment by doing something like paying the amount into court. Even under the Uniform Civil Procedure Rules, a party can only be required to provide security for the other party's costs and not for the judgment itself. The takeaway message is that a Mariva injunction merely prevents the dissipation of an asset. It doesn't compel the use of that asset as security for the judgment. Mm -hmm.